So if it's called the kitchen in the back, what you gonna call the front? Like the living room, the bedroom, the garage? Like what would you call it? There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. What's up, you guys? What's up, divas and divos out there in the YouTube world? It's your girl. So anyway, you guys, I'm back with another hair tutorial video. This is a company that I've never worked with before. I ain't never even heard of them, okay? The name of their company is called Coco Black Hair, the Yaki Hair Leader. But I didn't get Yaki Hair. They didn't, they didn't send me yakky hair. And I really do like yakky hair or kinky hair. So it's CocoBlackHair.com. They did send me their 200 and, no, excuse me, 150% density, silky straight virgin Brazilian hair, 22 inches, and it says lace frontal. I think it's four inches deep or six inches deep, and it does come in this pink box, okay? um There, there wasn't any elastic. I can't remember if there was, but there was a wig cap, okay? And then that was it in the wig. That, that was all I got in that box. Um, so I did wash it. At first I bleached it. I bleached the knots because I just want them to look as natural as possible. The color of the lace is like a brown. I'm not really sure how it's going to work out for me, but we're going to try this. And I did put my own elastic band in it. Girl, I put this elastic band so darn too big that I had to knot it in the back, but it's neither here nor there. And there's combs in the back and an adjustable strap. And I do like the cap netting. This is a nice netting. And I think this is more than four inches of parting. I'm probably read it wrong, but you know, we're going to go from there. The cap I did, let me tell you, I did bleach it and there are combs in the front and I did pre-pluck the hairline. Not too much because it really wasn't much that I needed to pre-pluck, which was great for a first time, first come, first impressions. I was really happy that I didn't have to pre-pluck the hairline like a lot because I hate doing that sometimes, but not so much. But let me tell y'all something real quick. So when I bleached it, it looked kind of brassy on, um, it looked black. It looked brassy when I bleached it. When, after I rinsed it out, it looked like, you know, brassy, the lace looked brassy. So then like the, the purple shampoo that you used, I used the Sally Branson, Sally Beauty Supply Store brand. Okay. And I used the purple shampoo and it does say on the back to well, I don't know if it says it on the back of that brand, but on the back of the Mark Daniels brand purple shampoo that I use, it says to make sure that you rinse it out, whatever you bleached or processed the hair with, then put the purple shampoo on and rinse it right out, then put it right back on and let it sit for like two minutes. I don't let it sit for two minutes because I've noticed if you let it sit for two minutes, it still kind of gives that brassy color. So you know what I do? And I've noticed this over time. It's only because it was by accident. I forgot that I had put the purple shampoo on the actual lace for like three hours. And then when I came back, it was not brassy again. And I did that more than once by accident. I did it twice. Um, so now what I do on purpose is I leave it on for like two to three hours. I just let it sit. I put it in a bag so it doesn't drip all over the place. You know what I'm saying? Because it's wet. And I just sit it on a bag on the counter and I just walk away for like two to three hours. I mean, not for five minutes, like they say, or two to three, five minutes. I walk away for like a couple of hours. And let me tell y'all something. When I come back, there's no brassiness at all. Honey, when you come back and rinse it out, there will be no brassy tones. I promise you. I'm going to cut the lace off and we're going to style this. I want to see if I could just style this real quick. So, you know. We're going to see if I can style this real quick because that's what this is about. I don't really know if I'm going to come through, but we're going to see. Okay, you guys, so let's get into this real quick. So, you know, I did put on the wig, of course, and I'm just going to put in the combs. I do anchor those into my cornrows, which is up a little bit higher so that way I don't lose my edges. And I'm just going to take this clip right here and I'm just going to commence to making me a sideburn type of hair. Like, you know, it's not baby hair, but it's a sideburn because I just feel naked if I don't have the hair right there. So this time around, I'm just going to use the scissors because the hair is straight and I just want to get it done really quick. 
but I'm also going to be making like some wispy hairs. Now the hair is actually good quality. I like it. It's straight. It's sleek. I didn't straighten it before the video. I just let it air dry and I'm just going to take my got to be glue, excuse me, the got to be gel, which is the glam force. And this is a really good gel too. So if you like the got to be, you know, like spiking gel, then this one is just as nice, especially this hairspray right here, which is also by them. This will have your wig laid down and held down for like two to three days, but you definitely have to put a scarf around it at night and I just took some of that gel and just brushed it on there isn't any product on my toothbrush so I'm just going to take some of the gel and place a little bit on the tip of the comb and just you know dot it on the roots of the wispy hair so that way they just stay in place I don't put it on the entire baby hairs or wispy hairs I just put it on the root and I'm just going to space out my spritzes of hairspray because I don't want the wig on too tight you know or just really really stuck because I do have other videos to record. So now that I went ahead and did one side, you know, of course you just want to go ahead and repeat it. And I'm just going to go ahead and brush the hair out because it does have like a nice wave pattern to it. Even though it's silky straight, it does have a very nice wave pattern to it. And girl, let me tell y'all something. I told y'all the bleach, I will leave that freaking blue, excuse me, purple shampoo on the hair for like a few hours and all the brassy tones are gone. So to go ahead and lay my hair flat, I decided to just do it with the blow dryer because the hot comb is just a little bit more time consuming so I'm going to take my got to be styling mousse and I'm just going to take the nozzle end of my blow dryer on medium heat and I'm just going to press into it this is like the easiest method it doesn't necessarily have to be silky straight it can be you know kinky you may have to do a little bit more work to kinky but I would say like yakky and any type of hair texture except for like kinky or like a really deep curl but this is the easiest method plus it also will ensure that your wig is laid down especially to the areas that you've spray the hairspray or the gel at this will definitely help your wig stay down plus it'll also actually flatten it so if you want to do less work and you really are not too comfortable with the hot comb you could definitely just use a blow dryer with a nozzle at the end and you're good to go and once you do that you will definitely want to brush the hair out I like it as it is in this natural state because it gets so full but I'm just going to do a little bit of styling so I'm going to take the same collagen instant pumping plumping mousse and I'm just going to run my fingers through the entire hair with it and it also will hold it well it also helps to hold the curl so when I'm curling any hair I always put mousse in it because it'll keep and tame away the flyaways plus it will also hold the curl style this is a lot better than spraying it first and then with hairspray and then curling it because you know hairspray will always get hard and crunchy so I decided to just show you guys how I do it with the mousse this is how I do it all the time and I'm just going really fast I know the video was supposed to be seeing how fast I can do the wig, but it necessarily wasn't supposed to be really fast. It was just basically how I can style the wig without taking or making so many sections in it. Normally, I make a lot of sections in my hair so that way I can ensure the hair will curl, but it does take a lot of time and sometimes it just doesn't come out the way I want it to. So instead of taking small strands or smaller sections, I'm just going to take big chunky sections so that way it'll eliminate the time frame of me styling this hair and you know we could just see how it is and to me it actually is a whole lot easier you know it doesn't really make a difference so the hair is full it's beautiful i'm feeling it like seriously you guys this is like some nice hair and the shedding or the breakage was very minimal so i do say that i do like cocoa black hair now this portion i'm just going to lift or give my front a little bit more volume this was like dumb easy to style like for real like i don't really have to do a lot um i I didn't flat iron it. I didn't straighten it before the video or anything. You see it had a wave pattern because it is straight hair. So all I did was just wash it and that was it. Um, you know what I'm saying? That was just totally it. Um, as you guys seen, I was going to use my hot comb to flatten this portion, like to make it like lay as flat as possible. But I really didn't feel like doing that because it's just too hot. Um, the, the hot comb, excuse me, it's hot in general. And like sometimes I just don't feel like doing all of that. So I just take my um, blow dryer and put it on hot. You know what I'm saying? Or medium heat. And that's how I will like lay my sides down or even make a part sometimes. This is the fastest I've ever curled a wig before because I don't know, sometimes I'm really detailed and I'll just put less hair on the curling rod and it'll still come out like this, but it seems like I spent like 30 minutes to an hour and I hate to spend that length of time on any hair. But girl, let me tell y'all something. This color lace is really like popping it actually matches perfectly to my scalp well not my scalp but my flesh so that is a good thing I just put like a few little hairs here and there like I didn't really want a lot of baby hairs because first of all it's straight hair and I don't be wanting to have like all of that stuff 
on my head. So, CocoBlackHair.com. This hair is decent. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm really impressed with the, the lace. Like, I really didn't think it was going to match. And the hairline, too. Like, they did really good ventilation on this wig. You know, like I said, I just did a little bit of pre-plucking on this unit. Only because I was lazy, but also because it really didn't need a lot of it. But anyway, on to the next, okay? So, the hair quality came out good. It did shed a little bit. I'm not sure if it was from the little bit of hair that I pre-plucked or just in general. But anyway, so, let me tell y'all. The hair came out nice. I like it. It came out nice. It's decent to the average. It's like, it's nothing I'm going to do back flips over and it's nothing I'm going to give two thumbs down over. It's decent hair. It's nice. It's quality. This is really deep parting. Okay. So I don't know what they're talking about, but the parting space goes damn near all the way to the back of your head. And that's a lot of parting space, especially on the side. So you're getting a nice amount of parting. You could definitely like, you know, finagle that. Like I'm telling y'all, look how the bleach did it. This is how the bleach did it for leaving it on for like three hours. Okay, honeys. I'm telling you guys. But you could check out the link below for me, you, for me, you guys. I love you. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Stay deep and deep delicious. I know I'm in a rush. I got to go somewhere. I got to pick up Mumsy. I'm always got to pick up Mumsy from school. But I try to do my videos during the school time so that way I can spend time with my kids. You know what I'm saying? So that way we could just chill. So let me just take a sip of this iced coffee. That's not longer ice. Mm. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Check out um, CocoBlackHair.com. They are the leader in Yaki Hair. I'm not